Across the country, universities are saving money by increasingly relying on part-time faculty. In response, these part-time employees, called adjuncts, have been unionizing. Tufts adjunct professors just joined their ranks. Reporter Peter Balalon Rosen brings us the story. With their union only a month old, Tufts adjuncts and administrators are gearing up for negotiation. Nan Levinson has been a part-time lecturer at Tufts for over 20 years. She was a member of the union organizing committee. We had a vote in September and we won over two to one in favor of. Before there's no guarantee that things couldn't be taken away from us. Uh, and basically the administration said, trust us. And frankly, we didn't. Unionized environment is going to be different than the kind of environment that we had in place before. But a lot of my colleagues have second and third jobs, um, often teaching jobs. They'll rush from a class here to a class someplace else just to make ends meet. And in fact, all of us have to have some other source of income to be able to live on this. It's just simply not enough. Four years ago, when the economy tanked uh, kind of across the board, uh, pay was frozen for about a year, and it got lifted for everybody else after that, and not for us. Today, almost half of all university faculty are adjuncts, according to government statistics. At Tufts, about one-third of the faculty is part-time. Those professors make an average $6,000 per course, with some making as little as $3,000, and select departments paying up to $10,000. However, even though colleges are using more of the cheaper adjuncts, tuitions have continued to rise steadily. The administration has acknowledged us as a union, says it will, and will negotiate with us. Negotiations with the union will require um, additional administration on our part, additional hours and time and effort. And we do, I think, uh, quite naturally have concerns. With a union, we have a more even playing field. We have a basis, a standing from which to discuss our teaching lives here. What we're nervous about, as students at least, is that what the administration will do is make the negotiations during a school break, which is what they did with the janitor's union. They had the contract negotiations over the summer, so then there weren't as many students around to be paying attention and to know what was going on. So that's kind of the biggest role that students can have as the you know, like main consumers in the university is we can put pressure on the administration. I don't know how quickly this will happen, when negotiations will start, but we'll start talking about our next contract. And it could go on quickly and constructively and happily. It could take a very long time. Reporting for Somerville Neighborhood News, this is Peter Ballinon Rosen. Tufts part-timers aren't the only ones with a union in the Boston area. Suffolk and Emerson have already organized, and there are others following their examples. 